Hey, so this is Mountain Blade Bannerlord. If you're new to the game, then I'll give you a real quick rundown on what it is, but if you already know why you're here, then there's time codes in the description as well as in the little uh, play bar thing if you want to skip ahead to the gameplay. Bannerlord is this big action RPG set in a fictional medieval land of Caloradia. It's a couple hundred years before the events of Warband, the Mountain Blade game before this. All of the factions in this game are based on real world cultures like the Greek, Romans, and Celts. What you do in the world, though, is just about anything you want. You can be famous or infamous, you could be a mercenary or a bandit, a vassal or even a king. The game is basically one giant sandbox and it's up to you to make your mark on the world. You can lead troops, hire heroes, or even fight on your own in tournaments. I sure do love tournaments. A lot of the very early game in Bannerlord can be a bit slow, so in this first stream there's a lot of me losing tournament fights. But as you can see by the end of the first stream, your character levels up pretty quickly and it doesn't take long before you can really get into the action. Oh, and if you end up enjoying this playthrough and you want to see more, there's a playlist in the description. I even put unlisted stream recordings in there early so you can catch them before they go live. I hope you enjoy. Alright everybody, let's get going with some Bannerlord. I haven't played in a few years, uh, at least not seriously in a few years, not since early access. We are going to make a Bandit King. I'm so excited. I've never been a Bandit King in this before because I'm always a like, good guy in video games. I'm going to do so many things that we've never done before. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's make our character. I already have the name in mind. I already have like a vague idea of how I want to build the character. Uh, so I'm real excited. Hey, mushrooms. Oh, if any of you are watching on YouTube right now and you want to watch extra parts early, might be in the playlist. Years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks. Oh, it's such a cool shot. <laughs> new ones of their own. I don't think this was in the game last time I played. Day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Such a medieval then haircut. Comes the civil war, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. Oh, I'm excited. Pretty sure that intro was not in the game last time I played. That was, that's really cool. I love that art style. That's really cool. I also read stories in this voice. I think you're going to have to send me a voice note of that. Okay. First thing we do is we pick our culture. Each it's um, it determines uh, some bonuses and detriments as well as your starting location. Although starting location doesn't really matter much. I'm gonna have to get used to these names still because I'm really used to the Mountain Blade Warband names and the Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword names. I'm obviously not as experienced with Bannerlord. Um, I only have 94 hours on this game. 
I know that sounds like a lot, but like I have way more on on Warband and with Fire and Sword. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to remember the names of these. This game actually takes place, it, it's Bannerlord 2, or sorry, uh, Mountain Blade 2, but it takes place before Warband. Uh, okay, more renown from battles, more income while serving as a mercenary. That is kind of cool. I wouldn't mind being a mercenary for a while, since you can be a merc instead of a vassal if you want to. Production bonus to villages that are bound to castles. Recruiting uh, lords to armies costs more influence. Influence is a mechanic I'm not super experienced with. Recruiting and upgrading infantry is cheaper. Armies uh, lose less daily cohesion. Relationship penalty for kingdom decisions. Empire, less garrison troop wage. Army brings in more influence. Mm, okay. Caravan's cheaper, less trade penalty, no speed penalty on desert. That's potentially really cool. Daily wages of troops are 5% higher. That's not bad. I think I know what I want to be, though. Recruiting in, yeah, mounted troops. Don't get me wrong, the Con 8 are really fun in any game, but... The uh, Batanians, I believe that's how you'd pronounce that. Less speed penalty and more sight range in forests. Towns owned by Batanian rulers have plus one militia production. 10% slower build rate for town projects and settlements. Okay, first of all, the Batanian part of the map, I really like in general. The enemies are not super hard to fight, like the bandits aren't super crazy hard to fight. They're not typically on horseback, which is really dangerous early if they're not if they're on horseback. It's a lot of forest, so if we have the forest panel, um, the forest bonuses, then that's really not so bad. And yeah, what you were saying there, forest bandit time. If we're gonna be a bandit, I feel like sight range and speed penalty bonuses when in the forest are really gonna pay off for us. Plus, um, ten percent slower build rate for town projects and settlements. That's really not a big deal. That's just a time difference, and it, only a ten percent at that. That's really not that bad. Plus, are we even going to own a town or a settlement to have projects? I don't know. Does a back alley count as a town project? I don't know yet. I'm not very experienced with the bandit stuff in this game, so I'm really excited to try it. We're going to be a battalion. Uh, that is one crazy looking dude. Okay. Uh, we are going to make our bandit lord here. First of all, we, we got to be kind of a scary dude, right? Well, we're Dutch. So we should probably be pretty tall. Not gonna do us any favors when they're shooting arrows at us, but uh, maybe we'll have an easier time hitting them in the head. Form a shield wall. Fall back. Let them advance. Yeah! <laughs> Keep your ground. Pick your targets. Get back. Move. Make a shield wall. Form a line. Victory. I think I like this voice. They will remember this. That's a crazy voice. Back to back. Circle facing outward. Make a circle. Back to back. Yeah! <laughs> Shield forward. Footmen. Pick your targets. I won't lie, that's a little tempting, but. <laughs> I kinda like that. It has a level of like dorky trying to sound like Robin Hood, but not quite nailing it. You know what I mean? Backs to each other. No quarter for the craven. It sounds like his voice breaks a little bit different every time, but he's really trying to sound cool. Give way. Advance. What was that? Okay, no. No, that's 100% the voice we're going with. Oh, let's uh, change clothing. Oh, yeah. So you can see what he looks like with clothing, yeah. Okay, I want, like, facial features, though, right? Well, he should probably have some kind of stubble. Um, where do I go for... Ooh, here we go. Let's try some things. We're making our forced bandit here. Hmm. Whew, we can have some crazy-ass hair. Now that... That's a fucking haircut right there. I don't think we're going with that one, but, uh, oh boy. Mmm, I mean, that's a classic right there. That is classic medieval peasant if I've ever seen it. 
He's gotta have some kind of messy mop of hair, you know? It's a little messy. He's living in the woods, so, uh... Probably should be a little bit... Not, maybe not quite that scraggly. He does fashion himself to be a gentleman. Probably something a little more like that. Okay, now facial hair-wise, we got a lot of options. That's... I'm gonna chalk that up to a visual glitch. There's no way it's supposed to look like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think the textures on some of the facial hairs aren't loading. Oh, fuck, I fucked up the hair. There we go. Oh, no, they're loading now. We're good. That was just a visual glitch. They've loaded now. <laughs> name him Robin Hood? Nah, I've, I've already got a name in mind. Hmm. Oh, hold on. What is this? Is this... That's... That's hair color, but why is it, like, green and stuff, but when you click it, it's not green and stuff? Huh. Odd. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe brown or black... I don't mind the red, though. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, that's a strong look there, isn't it? We're gonna be a famous bandit one day, so I feel like we should have a pretty strong look. Ooh, look at that. It's a shame he can't, he can't grow it in here, or else he would. Okay, now that, that just makes you look depressed somehow. I can't put my finger on what it is, but taking the mustache off and keeping the goatee looks depressing. <laughs> oh, I really like that too, though. I do think I can change how I look later if I want to. So we don't need to commit too hard. I do like this a lot, though. I think we're going to go with that. Now, eyes. Eye color? I do kind of like the piercing blue with the black hair. That's pretty cool. Wasn't there a thing where, like... Eyebrow type? Oh, yeah, eyebrow type is pretty important, actually. That really frames your face. I don't think his face should be too kind. I do like the idea of a kind-faced bandit, but... I think these eyebrows give him just a little bit more menace, just a little bit more edge. Wasn't there a way that you can have, like, a dead eye? You know what I mean? Like, there's a way you can have, like, a blanked-over eye with a scar over it and stuff, right? Is it- is it markings? Oh! That! Now we're starting to look like a famous bandit. Ooh. Uh, the whole claw thing, that might be a little overkill. Or is like this? It's like a curved slash. Like he might have actually like gotten caught with a blade and tried to turn away from it, you know? What's this? N don't get me wrong, that's fucking cool, but... I mean, if I'm picking between that and, like, a curved scar like that, and he's got, like, a little scar on his lip, too. Because he's got to look pretty rugged, right? What is this? That's probably changing color of if I had, like, face paint. Okay. Now, as for, like, actual face... He has kind of a round face, not fully round. I kind of like his face shape already. Like, I think this suits him pretty well, but... You know what? Uh, we'll roll with this for now. I'm pretty happy with this. Dress him up. That's not bad. Let's just test a couple more hairstyles. I wish I didn't have a black background. It'd be a little easier to see his hair, you know? That also looks okay, having the slightly shorter hair. That might even suit him better. Is there one where the hair is pulled back, but he doesn't have a ponytail? That one's not too bad. <laughs> that one's basically my hair. <laughs> Mine's shorter right now, though. God, 
God, that's fucking crazy hair right there. No, I think, uh, I think I'm feeling this slightly shorter version of the haircut that we were rocking before. He looks fat? I don't think he looks fat. He's just wearing bulky clothing. If you take the clothing off, he's not fat. I can make him fat. If I go weight, high. Oh, that's not even that fat. He just looks like a power lifter now. What is it, build? What if I go like low build, high weight? Well, now he's just skinny fat. What if I go low weight, high build? Well, now he's Jake something. <laughs> Let's, uh... I do think he should be a little big. There we go, yeah. Big tough bandit. He's supposed to be like a legendary bandit, right? He's gotta be big and intimidating. There we go. Okay, we're picking our upbringing now. <laughs> Dad bod bro is jacked. Role playing as MDB if he was born a bandit. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna determine a lot of our starting stats and specialties. Um, you were born into a family of, okay. I want to have a lot of stats in places where I wouldn't normally. Like this gives athletics and throwing if our parents were tribes people. Control, what does control, control is your ranged attacks. Throwing in an athletics. I want more throwing in athletics. Those are things I don't normally go heavily into. More, I'm usually more of like a, a sword, shield, lance, riding on a horse guy. I'm like a knight. I fight in tournaments a lot. I'm not huge on throwing weapons. I usually use a bow or a crossbow if given the chance. Maybe I'll go pole arms. Maybe I'll go athletics. Maybe I'll even do some two-handed weapon fighting which I do like in tournaments, fighting with a two-handed weapon. It's just, you know, it sucks not having a shield for when arrows come hailing at you. Smiths. Smithing is fun. Endurance is good. Scouting and tactics. I mean, those are good, but I could always get a guy on my team that kind of covers that. Bards. Now, bards is roguery, social, and charm. I don't really want to pass up any of those. Roguery is going to be something that we really invest in. Ooh. You know what? Our parents are bards. Your father was a bard. Drifting from Chieftain's Hall to Chieftain's Hall, making his living singing the praises of the one uh, Batanian aristocrat and mocking his enemies, then going to his enemies' halls and doing the reverse. You learned from him that a clever tongue could spare you from a life of toiling in the fields, if you keep your wits about you. Okay, we were born into a family of bards, so I think that'll fit us pretty well. Uh, could our character be a girl if you wanted? Yes, you can. As a childhood, you were noted for leadership, tactics, two-handed throwing vigor, athletics, bow and control, engineering, trade, intellect, charm, leadership, social, riding, medicine, endurance. Okay, now charm, leadership and social is tempting. Kitty, you look so stupid. <laughs> um, leadership, tactics, and cunning is also really good, though. Cunning is like the whole, um, the whole tree of like um, scouting tactics and roguery. I don't know how much we're going to invest in scouting because we might have a guy to do that for us. But tactics and roguery are very important. Plus, I want leadership, so I think I'm going to be noted for my leadership skills. Like all village children, you helped out in the fields. You also uh, herded the sheep. Is athletics throwing control? That's very tempting. Two-handed smithing vigor. I mean, I will do some smithing, but I can do that later. Smithing engineering intellect. Medicine scouting endurance. I do like medicine. Bow tactic control. I'm not really planning on going into bows. Trade charm social. I like Trade Charm Social, but I think this is the time that we go herded the sheep, so we get athletics, throwing, and control. This will get us a little bit more of the skills that are going to help us in combat. Athletics is largely your speed at running, uh, so it's like your basically your maneuverability on foot. 
Uh, throwing is what you'd think, your competence with throwing weapons, and control is the whole branch of how competent you are with ranged weapons in general. And, like, how quickly you gain skill in those departments. As a youngster growing up in Calaradia, war was never too far away. You, trained with the hearth guard, that's a uh, riding polearm endurance, bow engineering intellect, riding bow endurance, polearm one-handed vigor. That's a maybe. Now, it's worth pointing out, as much as I kind of want to go into polearm, I don't think you can use polearms when you're walking around the city. Like, when you're in civilian mode. So having some skill in one-handed weapons is probably a good idea. Oh, have you played Medieval Dynasty? Yes, mostly in Early Access, though, but that game's very fun. Me and my friend Morgan have got to play that together. Throwing one-handed and control. Roguery throwing and cunning. Okay, no, roguery throwing cunning. You avoided service with the, one of the main forces of the realm's armies, but instead followed, uh, but followed instead in the train. The troops, wives, lovers, and servants, and all those who make their living by caring for, entertaining, and cheating the soldiery. <laughs> yeah, roguery, throwing, and cunning, that is all stuff that we need. We marched with the camp followers. Choose your young adulthood. Before you set out for a life of, adve of adventure, your biggest achievement was... Um, well, there's this really fucking hard achievement in Terraria where you, like, wipe out all of the hollow and all of the corruption and the fucking crimson. So, like, that's the biggest achievement. But, like, if you're talking about in combat, then uh, one-handed, two-handed, vigor, valor, renown. I don't really care about renown just because I can get it in-game if I need to. Tactics, leadership, cunning. Trade smithing intelligence, polearm crossbow control, athletics, roguery, endurance. That's very tempting. Charm, steward, social. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, um, you had a famous escapade in town. Maybe it was a love affair, or maybe you cheated at dice, or maybe you just chose your words poorly when drinking with a dangerous crowd. Anyway, on one of your trips into town, you got into the kind of trouble from which only a quick tongue or quick feet get you out alive. That's extra athletics, roguery, endurance. We have a point in valor, which is like a personality trait, so we're brave. And uh, a little bit of renown, just a little bit. It's like the minimum you can have. But that gets us another focus point on roguery, which is very nice. The more focus points you have on something, the quicker you build skill in that. Instantly recognize this streamer from his support of speed lore? That's fucking cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah, um, I like Goose. Goose is a cool dude. Me and him have talked a bit. He's a good guy. People think crazy things about that dude, and he's... He's literally not. <laughs> Whatever. Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of armies after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, and brother, and your two siblings, two younger siblings, to a new town you had heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two younger siblings seized. But you and your brother survived Biakuaz. Um, one-handed in athletics with vigor. That's pretty good. Bow tactics control, riding, scouting, endurance, roguery tactics cunning. We're really stacking roguery tactics cunning. Leadership charm social. Mm. Can't find it. Is it there? Sorry, asking about other game. Oh, um, Medieval Dynasty? Oh, no, I mean, like, I've played that, like, like by myself. Like, not on the show. Um, I think I want to go with You Tricked the Raiders. In the confusion of the attack, you shouted that someone had found treasure in the back room. You then made your way through the undefended entrance with your brother. I, that's fucking great. <laughs> oh, it's great! Uh, that gets us four out of five focus points on Roguery. That's a pretty strong start for Roguery, I gotta say. Five cunning. Yeah, we're doing that. We tricked the raiders. 
Whoa, guys, there's so much gold in the back room. They all just run away from the entrance and we just strut right out. Who knows, maybe if me and Morgan play uh, a Medieval Dynasty together, we'll do that on the show. Your name? Well, I did say I was Dutch earlier. BP Mandersloot. No one on earth will get that reference. It's my favorite Dutch YouTube channel. Uh, there we go, okay. You prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of revengeance. Vengeance, not revengeance. I was gonna say that can't be a name. That can't be a name. <laughs> of vengeance and rescue. Here's your character. Uh, continue if you're ready or go back and make changes. We are Batanian. Our family were bards. For early childhood, we were known for our leadership skills. In adolescence, we herded sheep. In our youth, we marched with the camp followers. In young adulthood, we had a famous escapade in town. And uh, and when we made our great escape into this world, uh, it was through tricking the bandits to get out of the inn alive. Revengeance. Yeah, that was that's that's Metal Gear. BP Mandersloot was that guy with 24 subscribers that you saw with Brandon that one time, I believe, right? Did I even see that with Brandon? I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Difficulty. Freebooter. What are the difficulties? Warrior must be standard, right? We'll go standard. Player damage received easy? No, I want realistic. Realistic. Yeah. Um, Recruitment difficulty. Realistic. Map movement. Realistic. Realistic. Yeah, just just realistic everything. Sure. Okay, this one doesn't have a realistic. It's just normal veteran challenging. I'll just do veteran. Um, clan member death possibility in battles. Is this like... Reduced by 100, reduced by 50, realistic. Oh, that's like if heroes die. Hmm. Do we go... Reduce, okay, so reduce by 100 is how it worked in the old games. Heroes never die, they just get knocked out, and then you have to find them again. I like that mechanic, though. Do I want my heroes dying? I kind of like that your heroes are permanent companions that you learn more about over the course of the game, and that you, you send off on missions and meet later. I think I want that reduced by 100. I don't know. Does anybody know if you can change this later? Because if you can change it later, then, like, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, hero deaths in combat. Disable battle death for player hero. Oh, disable, uh, battle death for all heroes. Disable battle death for, okay. Enable for all heroes. Okay. So I could just leave that default and have it disable battle death for all heroes. Well, obviously I want it disabled for player hero. That's how it's always been in Mountain Blade. That's the default. Your guy never dies. He can only get knocked out and brought down to, like, being poor and having nothing and having no army, but you still have your fame and your level ups and stuff, you know? The heroes are gonna be bandits. They just sneak away from fa <laughs> any fatal injury. Is that true? I'm not sure that's how it's gonna work. I'm going to disable battle death for all heroes. I'm assuming that would disable battle death for like, um, you know, like uh, the lords of other countries too which I like that as well, because then you you always meet them again in the future and you build up these long rivalries with them. That's kind of how Mountain Blade used to be. Uh, I don't want to auto-allocate clan member uh, perks. I'm definitely going to manually do that. Iron Man? Um, yeah, this option cannot be changed later. Automatically saves when you quit the game. Um, I'm not going to Iron Man just because I am a little bit afraid of, like, if it were to crash or something. I don't want any chance of, like, not having extra saves in case shit breaks. But, I mean, everything's streamed on screen, so I'm just not going to save scum and his honor system and, like, I mean, you're watching, so you can tell I'm not loading old saves. So, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm excited. I think we're just loading into the world now. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? I, uh, I don't know how I leveled up. <laughs> Pretty sure you can change clan member death in-game settings according to the Reddit post I found anyway. Oh, cool. Thanks for letting me know. This looks like an old training field for the legions. 
Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. Skip uh, tutorial! Are you sure about that? Skip! All right then. One of a ping brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner, like the nobles do. Okay. Yay! You can learn the basics of combat here. That's fine. A few hours after you leave the training grounds, you come across a wounded man laying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds the best you can. He tells you that he is a traveling doctor. To thank you for his help, he hands you a small bronze artifact, um, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said only that it was related to Neret's this folly. He suspects it may be of great value. Uh, you resolve to find out more. It, I never completed this quest, but I don't care about the main story much. If I remember right, the folly is like, it's like the history of some famous battle in the Empire's past and how some guy got ambushed and like backstabbed by Batanians or some bullshit. I don't know. Your family name. Um. Shit. Maybe this should have been, maybe this should have been BP Mandersloot. No, we're BP Mandersloot. What's the family name then? I should have thought about this ahead of time. Mm. It's not. It's the name of our family. This is not the name of our gang, right? Mm. Getting the MacGuffin off screen. Family name. Now, I'm sure I can't change this later. Mm. Maybe the family name should just be MDB. That's like the clan, you know, of clan MDB. Let's do that. Make it easy. Ooh, banner. Okay, okay, now we're a bandit. So we gotta have something pretty fucking cool bandity looking, you know? Mm. I'm liking some of these weapon crests. Ooh. Are there any more hand-shaped ones? No? Okay. Okay, we're definitely, definitely going with one of these hand ones. That looks like such a thieves guild. Oh man. Oh, how cool does that look though? What do I like more? Do I like the blue or do I like the kind of gold? I think I like the blue. Don't get me wrong, that, that kind of green is really cool as well. Uh, white's kind of cool, but I don't know. I really like how that blue on black looks. I think I like this hand more. What about red? There's not really like a good red. This is the reddest it can be. And it's just not that red. Yeah, I like how the blue looks. I agree. Do I want the hand to be any bigger or? No, not really. Yeah, that looks right. Now it doesn't look so hot on this shield, but that's because it's got the big thing in the middle. That's fine. That's just the shield. Other shields will look better. Swap the colors. Ah, uh, that doesn't look as good. It, it's that it's a different blue and a different black, you know? Like, the banner can be black, but the logo is always kind of faded. So it looks better if it's a black background and a, and a blue logo. Yeah, let's rock with that. Ooh, oh, that looks really good on the map. Oh, look how cool that looks on the map. I like it. Okay, I have got to spend, <clears throat> I got to spend a perk point because we have so much roguery. Wonderful. Big League MDB stream. This isn't Alona Plus. I do need to play more Alona Plus. The newest update crashes on me. I don't know what the fuck. 20% experience gain for bandits in your party, 5% more raid speed. That does sound good. Or I could pick 
Better chance of convincing bandits to leave in peace with barter. Now, bartering with bandits... Bartering with bandits has value. Because even if you would totally kick their ass, you can sometimes pay them almost no money. And you will still get, like, a uh, charm for it. You'll still get, like, charm points for it. So you can use it for building up your stats. Um... New CK3 playthrough when not trying to be annoying, but you are. <laughs> you already know the rule. If you ask when, the answer is I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, I want more experience uh, gain for bandits in my party because we're likely going to have a lot of bandits in our party. So no risk for the wicked. Okay, and we do have one focus point that we can spend. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit tempted to just dump it into roguery and max it out early, but our limit is already so high and our learning rate is already so high that it's, it makes way more sense that I put this point into uh, some melee weapon. Cause as it stands, we have zero competency in any melee weapons. Okay, so this is my this is my big conflict right now. I I do want to go polearm because I like the idea of fighting with a sword and a spear because I never or sorry a, a spear and a shield like on foot because I never do that. Will this be on YouTube later? Yes, um, but but I don't think you can carry any spears in town. Like I can I can show you right here if I just go to like the nearest major city. Let's go down to Poros. Okay, we're probably safe going there, right? Yeah. Okay, if we go to Poros, tutorial, go away. Um, if we go to Poros and I go to trade, weapons, civilian outfit. So things in blue are things that you can not use while in civilian mode, right? As you can see here, these spears and pikes, even short militia spear, um, can't be used in town which is what makes me think that maybe it makes more sense to invest in one-handed weapons early because that's likely what I'm going to be using in town is like some kind of sword that I can just carry on my hip. Is this an online game? You can play it online, yeah. You can play multiplayer online. Um, the campaign isn't multiplayer though. But battles, battles can be, yeah. Um, so I think I am going to put that point into one-handed. Which, in fairness, I'm best at one-handed combat anyway. Okay. Enter the arena. Let's just have a real quick practice fight so I can get a feel for what my character feels like right now. I don't need these tutorial messages. Mm, greetings, friend. Okay, I already know what the arena is. We all know what an arena is. You can just do fights here. You don't get much, mo much money for it, but it's something. I would like to participate. I'll do that. Okay, random weapon. Oh, we got a we got a spear. Okay. Well, we also got throwing spears, and we have throwing skill. All right, let's do some let's do some warm up arena fights. These are very low stakes. None of the damage here is permanent. Um, this is just a free thing you can do to gain a little bit of skill, get some fights in. It's a real good warm up when you haven't played in a while. Any of you guys like drop a shield or anything that I could take? That's a sword, right? Yes. Drop that. Okay. I dropped the spear. I took the sword. Game looks cool. How old is it? It's not very old at all. Um, I think it's only been fully out for like a year, but it was early access for a few years. But this is... Uh, some going to hit me from behind. Oh! Oh! We're good. We're good. I think the guy I was just fighting... Oh! The guy I was fighting got hit by that dude's javelin while I was fighting him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. We didn't even get a kill on that one. Doesn't help that we have no shield and half these guys are throwing javelins. That doesn't do us any favors. Uh, yeah, so this is the sequel to Mountain Blade Warband. It's actually a prequel. And Warband was around when I was in high school. So like, I don't know, that's like 15 years old. And Warband is still really good. Come on, swing. Oh, okay. 
Don't turn your back to me. That's what happens, man. All right, we got a shield now. A shield with a javelin sticking out of it. That guy's fucking throwing at me. I do not want to be in between these two. Fuck, do you see how close that came to hitting me in the face? Oh, God. I do not like being backed in here. Yeah, turn your back to me. See how well that goes for you. Oh, I don't even know what hit me. Come on. Drop your fucking guard, dude. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm outie. I'm outie. Yeah, stab him in the back. Stab him in the back. Yeah, yeah, keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Ah. Our swing speed is pretty bad right now. Any opinion on the new CK3 DLC? I wouldn't know. I haven't played it. I haven't played CK3 in a couple years. I love that game. I haven't had time. Oh! Oh my god! I was hitting 70s on that guy. Okay, we got a point of athletics and one-handed. Okay, this is important, because we really do need this one-handed skill right now. We are not very competent in a fight at all right now, unless we have javelins, and javelins don't last long. It's not really a primary weapon, you know? Oh fuck, I should have dropped my guard there. I hit you in the shoulder, dude! Oh god, I can't block both of those at the same time. Yeah, I've been MD busy. <laughs> Alright. If you're just gonna stand still, then I'm gonna- Ah, right when he moves, okay. Oh, well, I hit him after he died. Ooh. Ah, get stabbed! I just flipped my javelin around. Stop blocking high! Why do you think I'm going high with my shot? Well, that time I did. Wow, that guy almost got me in the back of the skull. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, that was a throat shot right there. He's done. Alright, I got one javelin left, so I've got it in stabbing position. Uh... Oh, I do not like this. Oh. I'm just gonna wait right here for this guy to hit him in the back. Oh fuck, they're both on me. Come on, dude, come on, come on. Oh, my shield's gonna break. Oh, shit, shit. It is not easy to block with a single javelin. <laughs> yes! In the back. Yes, right in the back of the head. Come on. Whew, almost didn't block that. Oh, fuck. There's a there's an archer aiming at us. Oh, oh my god. Ah! Oh, come on. Oh! This is so nerve-wracking. I was playing so much Warb- Ah! Oh, I was playing so much Warband earlier this week, and on Warband, I'm like- My character is like a fucking tank in Warband. I am not used to playing such a low stats character again. Oh, this game is so fun, though. Okay, okay, that was a nice little warm-up. That was a nice little warm-up. Oh, okay. Let's go hit up the tavern. Oh. Mm, quick cheap trick for- I'm not even gonna read it. <laughs> I don't want a quick cheap trick. I'm good at tournaments. You guys have watched my previous playthroughs. I don't need to game this shit. Mm, talk to me, tavern keep. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna get up in your personal space. What are you- what are you eating? Cubes of beef, and a leek, two leeks, and a garlic. We have some Macintosh apples, uh, which I don't know if they existed back in these days. I'm pretty sure we bred those into existence. And a bag of grain or flour. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's making. It looks like he's prepping a stew, maybe. Uh, do you know of anyone who might have tasks for someone the like of me? Well, I mean, like, every village does, but... Looking to hire people with specific skills. I want a good scout. It only cost me two gold for you to tell me. Danusitica. 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 It's probably Danusitica. Probably. Nava the Wanderer. Hmm. It was two dollars well spent. Okay. Where is Danusitica? I'm not as familiar with the, the um, names of locations in this one. Danusitica. Mm. Oh, here it is. It's out east. I mean, it's not a crazy walk. She's probably not going to be there when I get there. Yeah, probably not going to be there when I get there. Okay, well, who's in the tavern today? Elin the Swift. Can't I right-click her? Yeah. So what's she good at? She's generous, daring, and merciful. I don't think she's what we're looking for. Uh, she's pretty talented, don't get me wrong. I would normally hire her, but we're gonna be... We're gonna be... It literally says Danny's... Yeah. Um, right, anyway. Um... Yeah, I would normally hire her, but if we're going to be a bandit lord, I think things like merciful and generous are probably going to get in the way. I don't think she's going to like us. Dogface Martha, what a name. I'm visiting her. I hope you sleep well. What faction and culture are we thinking? Well, right now we don't even have any plans to join up with a culture. Or a faction. Because we're going to be a bandit king. It's in the title of the stream. Yeah, she's not outlaw material. That's how it is. We gotta, we need outlaw material. One of the first things we need to do is find a few proper outlaw heroes. Because um, when you're like fighting in the streets to like take over an alleyway, you've got, you've got your heroes with you. So we need some good bandit heroes to back us up in that fight. As soon as we take over an alleyway, maybe we can start being like a real bandit, a real outlaw, you know? Hey, Retra. Thanks for the resub. 71 months. Good God. Who might you be? Mm, they know me as BP Mandersloot. Mark it down. You shall be hearing of me a lot. Martha asks around about me. Uh, let's just say I've got a talent for solving people's problems, so to speak. Never heard of you. <laughs> I must leave now. Okay. Uh, so if I hold alt, there we go. She owns the waterfront down there. Or she inhabits the waterfront. Those are red zones on the map with the little cloak and dagger. Looks like there's another one up there, back street. Uh, those are like bandit locations where if you take out the bandits there and you have enough roguery, you can like take over the area. I think you might need like a hero that you position there. Oh, get up those stairs. Oh, you can do it. We got to get our athletics up, man. <laughs> our run speed is not so hot, even in civilian gear. Look, we were a sheep herder from a family of bards. All right, here's the back street. Back street's back, all right. What are you doing here? Nothing. Is it just three guys? I can, okay. I was gonna say, I can kill three guys. Can I, can I with five in one-handed, a two in vigor, like, with just like my default sword? What even is my default sword for when I'm in uh, civilian mode? A ridged iron broadsword, it's a tier two. It's okay, 
It's like a functional weapon. It's a real sword, but... Short, simple raider spear, highland throwing axes, and then my... Yeah, my broadsword. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. My raider spear is actually a, a tier one. Oh, that's awful compared to the sword. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have that be my default. I love that you can see my battle axes and they like sway on my hip and is the correct number of axes? How cool is that detail? Is our gang called Backstreet Boys? Nah, we're the fabulous Freebirds. Which means that our first place we take over will be Bad Street. Maybe this will be, will be Bad Street, you never know. Right across from the tannery. <laughs> Who works the tannery? Is that like a support beam? What is that? And to be prefer it's NSYNC. I probably know an NSYNC song. Sorry about the smell around here. Tanning's like that. Yep. Um, how, do, how much does it cost to buy this place? Um, is the owner here? Is that you? No. No. Uh, is the owner in today? Gang leader bodyguard. Oh, it's you. Welcome, stranger, to my little kingdom here. Who might you be? I think she's the one who runs that alley across the street. May I ask your name? Talent for solving problems. Yeah, she is definitely a mob boss. I wish to buy your tannery. Oof. 25,000? Yeah, do not have. I was just curious about the price. Okay. Well, there's still only three dudes over there if I were to kill them. I don't know if, like, she and her two dudes would run out to back them up, but that would give us time. I'd rather fight two groups of three than one group of six. Hmm, this artisan here has a quest. Artisans can't sell their products here. I believe you can smuggle shit as part of that quest. That might... That might be a good quest for us, since we are an outlaw anyway, or we're going to be. But for now... Maybe... Maybe I just hire a few dudes and keep moving. Uh, next closest town is over here. Cool. In the Western Empire. Okay, we're gonna go around and hire a few people. Some looters over there. We're faster than them. We don't have a shield, right? I do want to get a shield. Mm, hiring a tier 2 is a little expensive. I really want to fight these looters, but I don't remember, um, in Bannerlord, do looters still throw rocks like they do in, um, Warband? Because if they throw rocks, I don't think I want to fuck with them, because I don't have a shield yet. But if they don't throw rocks, then I'm, that's fine, I can kick their ass, all you need is a horse and a sword. Recruits, three recruits. There we go. Okay, we got a little gang of six, just five base dudes. Or like five based dudes. Okay, let's go back over here and see if the uh, looters are still hanging around. BP Mander Salute gained a skill point in riding. I mean, that's cool, but if I take the horse off, I could be gaining points in athletics right now, and I think I want that. I only have one bag of grain. I gotta get more food. They do still throw. Good to know, thank you. Let's buy um, some cheap food. Yeah, the cheapest here is grain. I'm just gonna buy a few bags of grain. Doesn't give us much um, morale, but uh, we need it. Well, I don't see the looters anymore. They probably died. How much does a shield cost? I forgot to check. I should. Let's go to this town. Oh, hey, there's some looters. Let's fight them. 
You got a problem? In the dead of night in the middle of a forest. It's our first real fight, everybody. They throw and have spears and occasionally pikes. Okay. Uh, not if you give up now. If you're prepared to fight, you'll never take us alive. All right, well, that's your funeral. I'm in command on my flank. All right. Where are they? Have my axes ready. Wonder how good these are to swing. Damn, I feel like I'm squinting. Nighttime battles. And I'm blind as a bat. And I got studio lights on me. Where the hell are they? There they are! I didn't even see them! My horse is so slow. We have like no riding skill. Yeah, I shouldn't be on this fucking horse. This is a death sentence staying on this thing. Yeah, we're just immediately losing our first fight. I did not prepare for this. That's okay. It's how it happens. It was a bad first fight. I shouldn't have uh, gone out of position. I probably should have just like stayed put and let them come to me. It's fine, we got a skill point. We got uh, four points in one-handed because we had a real fight. We gained some medicine and some athletics. It's pretty normal that you get your ass kicked a lot early on in this game. That's all right. And remember, I did set it to realistic difficulty. By default, you take half damage in this game. We set it so we take full. So we get hurt as badly as they do. Yeah, I killed like two of them. So we're stuck with them for a little while. Weirdly enough, they don't take all of your money. They only take a little bit. We lost our troops, but we didn't pay much for them. We're just gonna make our money back in tournaments, probably. Usually what I do is I win a tournament, and then I sell the, uh, the prize, and you get a lot of money for it. Yeah, the beginning horse is just a stumper horse. It's pretty useless, and we have no riding skill either. There we go. Took a few days, but we broke away. Yay! And we're hurt. And we have no food! Because they took our food. Let's go to town. When you get the top level horses, it's fast. Well, duh. <laughs> I, I, just for anyone coming in new, I, I will remind that I've been playing Mountain Blade games for 15 years. <laughs> I do understand that faster horses are faster, guys. Capacity exceeded. Oh, right, wait. Yeah, I can't carry much without troops. Alt shows their general location. That's right, they changed that to alt. That used to be backspace in the old game. That's why I hit backspace earlier. Uh, arena, just practice fights. Okay. Um, tavern, no heroes. Um, overpriced raw material quest. Eh. Is this your favorite mountain blade? I don't know. Uh, I like all of them. They're fun. Mm, okay, I want a shield. Um, oh man, the prices for shields in this are so much cheaper than Warband. In Warband, the cheapest shield is like hundreds. Yeah, this right here is not a bad shield, especially considering how dirt cheap it is. There we go. That massively increases our chance of survival. Just getting some real basic wooden shield to protect us. Wow, our armor is terrible. But, like, we're pretty broke. Uh, I am going to wait here for some time, because you heal a lot faster waiting in a city. Also, you see I just gained a point of medicine in the bottom left? Um, we don't have a medic for our party yet, which means I play all the roles of, like, tracker, medic, engineer. So I get medic skill for healing myself. Next you'll be telling me better weapons are better. Oh my God. Did you know that a tier five weapon does more damage than a tier three weapon? Mm, I kind of want to beat up those mountain bandits, but I remember mountain bandits being a little tough. 
We've mostly healed. How many people can I recruit just on the spot? Do I Can I get enough people that's worth running out there and beating them up? Yes. Hell yeah. Round two, everybody! <laughs> Warband is still surprisingly very good. Yeah, I was playing it like yesterday. It's still so good. Okay. Now they got javelins I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any shields, but it could be on their backs. Oh, you know what? I think I am seeing the outline of a shield there. Mm, give it up now, brigand. On my orders. Okay, I am going to fight on foot because our character is fucking terrible on a horseback right now. Okay, alt. There they are. Okay, now we can't shield ball or anything. Yeah, some of them have shields. Aim at me. Aim at me with your throwing weapons. Don't aim at my guys. They don't have shields. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fuck, I missed every single... Uh, oh! 228 damage. They got me in the back of the head with a spear. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance on that one. Come on, guys, you have this. You have them outnumbered. You've got them surrounded, please. Okay, our guy is one. Fuck. Yay. Okay, two of our guys died. That's not that bad. 228 damage is what we took from that shot to the back of the head. We took two hillmen alive. Falchion, new shoes. Some of these shoes are incredibly slightly better than mine, so I'll take that. And a Falchion. It's a lot shorter than my current sword. Yeah, I think that's probably going to get sold. I could smelt it, but I don't know if we're going to get into smithing quite yet. All right, all right. Now, I know we took a javelin to the back of the skull, but we are okay. We have 1% health. That's just how this game is. Um, I'm going to sell the sword right away and the old boots. Make just a little bit of money. Did I forget to take the rest of their equipment? I think I did. I think I left a bunch of shoes on the ground by accident. That's completely my bad. Sorry, it's it's a different trade menu in this than it is the previous games. I'm so used to shift clicking everything. That was dumb of me. So I was going to say, I thought I just had this filtered at first, you know? Maybe it was the javelin to the brain that made me forget. Okay, we're going to wait in here and heal a little bit more while we wait for those other bandits to come back. This is a decent way to live early in the game, by the way. Waiting for, like, looters and bandits to come by. You know, we, we need more health. We're too hurt. We wouldn't even be able to participate in the fight because our health is red. You need at least 20%. We're still gaining some medicine skill. You gain morale if you don't take all the equipment. I think that's right, because your, your crew takes some of the uh, equipment instead. That's a small group of looters I could easily beat the shit out of. Hire two people. Let's go get them. We are we are incredibly slightly faster than them. If they run into the woods, we'll for sure catch them because we're way faster than them in the woods. Oh, they're dumb. Yeah, they didn't know any better. If they had run a little farther, they would have joined up with the other looters and probably killed me. You'll never take us alive. Uh, well, I can take you dead. <laughs> Oh, it's so dark. It's so blue. It's like a day for night shot. This is the bluest shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. It's like an optical illusion. Can you guys even see anything? Oh, that went way higher than I thought it would. Oh fuck. We got to just charge. Yeah. There. Finally a hit. That was quick. <laughs> we gain a lot of skill points, though, because we're fighting real people. Yeah, the Legend of the Bandit King does start with him occasionally beating up looters. That's kind of how a lot of these playthroughs start, because you just got to get your early points, you know? 
we would be starting off a lot more aggressive if, um, yeah, loot all. We would be starting off much more aggressive. Yoink. Now we look like a bandit. Look at that. We'd be starting off way more aggressive if uh, we had like a bunch of points and stuff like one handed or pull arm, but we don't. So I think like all of the early levels are going to go into that just so that we get our combat prowess ready. Um, are you sure you want to follow me? Uh, I mean, it's literally your funeral. Okay. I just paid 75 bucks. I upgraded our recruits. We just got three of them are now Imperial infantrymen with shields. Two of them are now Imperial archers. Um, I mean, we might just get hit in the brain again, but I think we're going to win. We could also recruit one of our uh, prisoners, which is a bandit, which will give us roguery. It's kind of our jam. We lose a little bit of morale for it whenever we do this, but um, I believe we get an ability at some point where it doesn't cost us morale to do this. There we go. We gained a point of leadership for that, which is very much worth it. Oh, athletics. We have enough for something. Combat movement speed, combat movement speed of troops in your formation, or hit points and hit points of foot troops in your party. Five health is not that much. 3% Movement speed is not that much either, but it's probably more useful for my crew. I'm going to take morning exercise. And I'm going to put my next focus point into one-handed again. There we go. So that we can gain more skill faster. Tier 3 plus uh, mountain bandits and sea raiders have shields. Harpoons deal double damage compared to axes because of the damage type. Okay. Okay. Not now you're running away. As soon as I upgraded my troops. Oh, they're faster than me. Are those looters like attacking that town or something? Aw, oh, so lame. Oh, there's only three down there. Would I be faster if I took the fucking horse off? Probably. No, I'd be slightly slower. Okay. Wait, it didn't even take it off. Done. There we go. Yeah, 4.7. And if I have the horse... 5. Okay. I know if you have horses in your inventory, then foot troops will ride them to uh, pick up the party speed, so it's worth having a bunch of stumper horses and stuff. Unless they changed at some point how that works. You'll have how looters are like three dudes with dinky diggers, I know, right? Okay, bent hatchet, that can get sold. Not worth much, but whatever. And we need a little bit more food. Why is butter the next cheapest food? Oh, fish, there we go. Arena, any tournaments? There's a tournament! We're joining the tournament. Uh, I'm very hurt, so there's like no chance I'll win, but I'm joining the tournament. If I see a tournament, I join the tournament. You guys know the rules. Okay, the prize for the tournament is a neck guard. <laughs> it's not very good, but it's something. Okay, the first round fights are all one-on-ones. I'm good at one-on-ones, but this is an elite Imperial fighter, so he might be pretty tough. Oh, he looks tough. And I've got, oh right, tournaments in this game, you bring your own armor. Yikes, he's got real armor on. Yeah, have that taste. Yeah, how'd that taste? Aw, oh, you don't feel like such an elite soldier anymore, do you? All right, everybody, we're we're getting back into we're getting back into the groove of where I was a few years ago. Well, let me uh, uh throw that to the side. Okay. Skip rest around one. Okay, so we've got a fatal four-way tag team thing going on here. We are with an Imperial trained infantryman. I'm going to tell him to follow me. We hang back and we hope for the best because it looks like I have the worst partner out of every character here. Oh god, I got javelins and no shield. Okay, okay, just lots of javelins. Okay, I told my guy to follow. He is not following. I forgot you can't order people in tournaments in this one. That was only in Warband. 
There we go. That guy's on me. Oh, I think I got him with a dick shot on that one. Okay, I should I should retrieve more javelins. While I'm uh, running around. Okay, he got the kill, right? Yeah, okay, he's on me. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Ugh. I hit the button to switch to um, melee mode on the javelin. It didn't happen in time. Oh, but I got enough kills that they moved me on to round three. We're still in this. Okay. We have an infantryman. We're against a legionary and a crossbowman. Okay, so they're better than us. And we have low health. Okay. Oh, God, we got javelins again. Like, I know we're good with javelins, but I want a shield. Fucking don't move, dude. Don't move. Oh, shit. There. Okay. Switch to melee mode. Oh, my God. There. I guarded high. I should have guarded left. Damn it. That's definitely knocked me out of the tournament. Okay, yeah, it did. I thought for a second it pushed me onto the finals. We made it to the semifinals with almost no skill and unlucky weapons. That's not bad. It's because your team was last to be eliminated. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Died twice to the same guy, yeah. Maybe if I had a little more health, I wouldn't have been going down in one hit, but... That's the way it is. You know, like that Power Man 5000 song. You know the one. By you, I mean Retro. <laughs> Alright, um, we can hire more prisoners. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's bad for morale. It's good for our stats. Yeah, it's getting us roguery. And leadership. Mm. No tournament today. Damn it. We're gonna wait a little bit longer. We're gonna wait. Oh! Uh, that was 11. Can we take on 11? We can take on 11 looters. Oh, they're running. Don't lead us to a trap. We're good. I hate always fighting at night in the woods. I'm taking command. Oh, that's a little less blue than before. Okay, I already see them. I don't like that our archers are so low. They're not going to get a good shot. Archers, just, like, fucking move over there or something. Move. Oh, I finally got a hit with one of these axes. They're not so easy to aim. There we go. Oh, we leveled! I'm not sure what hit us there. Ooh. Come on, dude. My own guy got in my way. Ah, that guy kill steeled at the last second. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't know how, how uh, MBD is doing, but MDB is doing pretty good today. I usually watch your uh, Pokemon Challenge streams. I'm happy to catch you live on Twitch. That's awesome. Uh, I don't do Pokemon Challenge streams. Oh. Uh, at all. But I'm happy you like the Pokemon Challenge videos. <laughs> Maybe MBD does Pokemon Challenge streams. Okay. We gained five points in one-handed, which is a lot uh, for one battle. Two in uh, throwing, four in athletics. You gain skill points pretty fast when you're very early, so we're gonna get pretty strong pretty fast. Don't worry, this whole boring early part is not gonna last long. Pilgrim Hood. Okay, this is mostly junk. Although these arm wraps are a very slight upgrade for us. All right. Uh, we lost one guy, but that's not bad at all. Oh, look at those villagers running around. One day we're going to be raiding those villagers. It's going to be awesome. Sell all of that. Awesome. 
Sorry, I meant video's brain was stuck on the word stream. That makes sense. Did you do the training field already? Oh, we skipped the tutorial. Um, there's no need. I've, I've been playing these games for 15 years. I don't need a tutorial. Okay. Uh, draw speed for throwing weapons up 20%. Draw speed. Okay, yeah, and then for my people. Um, shield breaker. Hmm... That's hard. Those are both good. The draw speed on the throwing weapons being very slow did get us killed in that tournament. At the same time, having a huge damage buff against shields with throwing weapons is pretty nice for having that initial volley break their shield. I think I want shield breaker. I think that's more useful. I'm going to take that. And we are getting yet another point in one handed. We finally have three focus points in it, which I think is going to be plenty for right now. Maybe I put the next one in something else. You generally prefer drawing speed? I can understand that. It's kind of hard to pick between those two, to be honest. Because, like, drawing speed is essentially DPS. Okay. Um, I'm kind of thinking we might head out west up here to, like, uh, Batanian lands, because there's a lot of forest up here that we would move very fast in, and there's also just a lot of castles that are very, like, cities and castles that are very quick to go between. Like, these four right here, this one, this one, this one, this one, you can bop between those four cities really, really quick, trading things, making money, killing bandits, it's pretty easy. At the same time, though, this area that I'm in right now also tends to have a lot of pretty weak bandits. I think I am going to start slowly heading west. It's a bit of a trip, but I think we're going up this way. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. Okay, we'll fight some stuff along the way, if we get golden opportunities to. Like, I don't want to fight 16 mountain bandits. I'm not ready for that. We can upgrade some of these infantrymen to trained infantrymen. Uh... Yes, actually, I will. Oh, that gave me leadership. I forgot you get leadership for that. Ooh, hideout spotted. And we got scouting for that. That's cool. Um, I will not destroy that hideout yet. I will just keep in mind where that is for future bandit fighting. Just because we're going to be a bandit doesn't mean that we're not going to fight bandits. In fact, you fight a lot of bandits if you're a bandit because that's part of how you recruit bandits. Although I believe later you can just learn how to recruit them by meeting them. What's our speed again? Uh, 5.1. Okay. So we can outrun anything going 5 or lower. Like those looters, but they have us pretty outnumbered. But our troops are okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go to town first. Ooh, mountain bandits over there. Who's this guy? Surgeon? Calculating, merciful, honest, generous. Okay, there's no way he would want to be with a bandit. That's not gonna work. Uh, I can get another recruit here. No tournament in town. Okay. We're just going to keep moving to the next town. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're slightly faster than us, or else I would have gone after those mountain bandits. Skill point in riding. Ooh, three. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably put away the horse and walk slower just for the sake of getting more athletics in the field. Medicine skill. Tournament! This guy, honest, merciful, nope. Shit, he's talented! He's got tactics? Damn. Why can't we find any bastards at these taverns? Okay. Tournament time! The organizer is offering leather armor for the victor. Woo. Well, it's an upgrade from my armor, at least. It's only a tier three. Uh, I'm team blue. 
Oh, I'm on a horse with a spear. Okay. I have a three in polearm. This is really not good weaponry for me. I don't... Yeah, you can't even do a crouched attack with this uh, thing. Oh, I got a kill, though. Oh, I missed the head. Uh, I did an okay amount. Uh, oh, was that a kill? No, okay. Oh, I, I'll say it's got range. Do you usually bet on tournaments? Not until I consistently win them. We don't have like, good, we have default starting armor right now for the most part, so I don't think I'm ready to go betting on them yet. Nope. Do I have a sword? Oh, I do have a sword too. Okay, that's good to know. I might just fight their horse. It's, the, it's a cheap trick, but it works if you just take out their horse. Oh, I almost got him with that. That was almost a kill. Ah, I tried to aim high, but he still blocked it. Damn it. Oh shit, okay, it's just us and our partner against that guy. Ah. Yeah, take it. There we go, that got him. Oh, quarterfinals. We are red team. Sword and shield. Oh, their armor is so much better than ours. God, he faked me out on that one. He adjusted his shield and I thought it was him, like, dropping his guard for a second. Oh, fuck. They got me on number now. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I almost didn't block that one. My shield's about to break. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah, I got bumped from the tournament for that. That's all right. We gain skill points. That's one of the great things about tournaments. It's a very low uh, stakes way to get skill points because the damage from tournaments doesn't carry over after the fight. Doesn't count as like a real fight, you know? So it's good. We need those skill points. It's what gets us those level ups. Okay, I think we're just going to keep moving. What's the next town on the way? Out here, okay. Yeah, and then I, I go that way. Okay, okay. We're on the road. Come on, where's some, where's some looters I can fight? Doesn't help that we don't have much scouting, so they're a little hard to spot. We don't have, like, a very wide sight range. Nothing. Not a single looter. All right. Tournament! Helmet with face guard. Oh, I would love to win a helmet with a face guard. Oh, my God. It's only a tier three, but whatever. Okay, we're red team. Uh, that's not even not even a kill. I'm not really doing a ton with these pole arms, but at the same time, I'm liking the skill points I'm getting for it. You know, I do want to be good with multiple weapons. Fuck, I should probably be using the sword though, just to build up that skill. That is our most practical melee skill. Get over here. Get. Yet. We are not very good on horse yet. Our riding skill is abysmal, so we're not very fast, and we maneuver pretty slow. Is it just these two left? Oh, he hit me. Barely. Okay, cut him off. 
That got him. Oof. Oh, that almost knocked me out. I want to come up from behind, you know? There we go. Knocked him right off his horse. Are you a sword shield guy? Typically, yes. But like right now, my character has basically no stats. So he's not really an anything guy. I guess he's got a little bit of athletics. Okay, this is a free for all. Yeah, I'm not used to that swing speed yet. I gotta get better about that. Ooh, that was cutting it really close. There we go. Shit. I almost guarded in time. Come on. At least take out the guy I was fighting. Ah. We won! Who's we? <laughs> All right, that bumped me, right? Yeah, I'm out of the tournament. Damn it. That would have been a good prize, too. We're getting close to getting our first one-handed perk, though. All right, climb the mountain. We're going up to the Batanian area. Scouting up. This is probably probably where we're going to spend the bulk of our time. Uh, fight those looters. We're faster, right? Just slightly. We almost have full health. We've been going into the last few tournaments with below full health, which doesn't really do us any favors. I'm a little surprised they didn't give up. I guess I don't outnumber them a ton, though. Okay. Oh, they're not super far. I don't know if our archers are gonna really catch any of them, though. I'm used to Warband, but knowing nothing about Bannerlord, how much is acceptable for one-handed skill? Um... It's kind of hard to say. I would say 50-plus you no longer feel totally, like, sluggish and awful. Okay, two hits. That's pretty good. Face paint on the looter. Well, that was easy. Oh, we gained so much skill for it because it's a real battle to the death. Oh. Tip for future four-man free-for-alls. If two are fighting each other and last one goes after you, just stall until the winner of the other duel comes in. Um, if you angle it properly, he'll usually take out the other guy easily. Yeah, that is a good way to do it sometimes. If your shield can hold out. Shut up, guys. Okay. Uh, tactics. Tactics one-handed and athletic. Guys, shh. I won't remember this because you screamed over my dialogue. <laughs> Alright, this is a slightly better... Oh, it looks so much worse, though. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, and a little bit of grain. I appreciate some food I don't have to pay for. They're just excited for battle. Yeah! <laughs> They're just really fucking excited for battle. Hey, this logo right here with the multi-directional thing, what the fuck does that mean? And I'm moving slow. Is that low morale? Oh, it went away and I started moving faster. I don't know what that icon means. That is a Bannerlord thing. There we go. Make a little bit of money. And let's stock up a little bit more in food. Oh, grain is really cheap in this city. It means disorganized. Okay, how do you become disorganized? And how can I avoid it? Fish is pretty cheap, too. Okay, that's a little bit of food for the army. Um, 
do I want to even buy any armor? Wolf head. That is cool, but I feel like we're going to get a lot of our stuff just from tournaments and other fights. Hmm. I could afford a better weapon now. I'm so used to warband prices where swords and stuff are so expensive that you usually just rely on loot. I forgot that you can actually buy some decent early game stuff. Oh, throwing daggers. Hold on now. It's only tier one. But throwing daggers for my civilian weapon set? Might not be a bad idea. We do have throwing skill. Usually only matters when you have large armies, then it tends to last for a while. In the early game, it's just a minor inconvenience, usually. Okay, that makes sense. Uh... I mean, this is not much stronger than- and, and it's less cut damage, it's just more pierce damage. I don't use piercing with swords very much. See, here's the thing, is like, I kind of want to buy some equipment, but none of it looks very appealing. Most of this stuff is like not really any better than what I'm already wearing. Can you have a shield for a civilian outfit? No, you can't. And that's a real pain in the ass. See, blue things are things that you can't use. I mean, or red, because I just don't have the skill. But, um, shields and range, yeah, like shields like this, it just doesn't, you can't. Uh, the only ranged weapons you can use are throwing knives and maybe throwing axes. No shields. I think no pole arms at all. I could use a pitchfork. That counts as a pole arm, but it's a terrible pole arm. Yeah, just having a decent quality sword seems like the way to go when it comes to like street fights. Yeah, I agree. I. I think that those throwing daggers might even be a good idea. Um, I'm not gonna buy them right now, because I'm not getting any in any civilian fights right now. But I will. I definitely will later, but I'll probably be buying better throwing knives by then. Ransoming prisoners! Um, I would get five dollars for that. I would rather hire them. Hillman can be upgraded into a brigand! What's the troop tree here? Brigand is the start. Okay. I love that there's like a real brigand troop tree. That there's like troop trees for all these things, like banded occupations. You can just read the troop tree for everything. I, I hate that it's constantly doing these pop-ups. <laughs> okay. Yeah, upgrade. Trained archer. Yeah, I want a small army of well-trained guys because that's good for hunting bandits. Now, what is this troop tree? What's like the difference between these? Polearm sword. Polearm sword polearm. This guy is sword shield polearm. Okay, so I'm picking whether the guy has a shield or not. I'm assuming this guy probably has like yeah, the guys without the shields, I'm guessing, are using two-handers. Okay. I mostly want shield guys right now. Yeah, mostly because I just want, like, a row of dudes with shields to protect the archers while the enemies approach. Are any of those heroes worth trying to hire? Uh, the only one in this town is this surgeon, and he's like all friendly and shit. He doesn't, he's not gonna be good bandit. I need someone who's a right fucker. So we're going to the next town. Ah, uh, should I have? Uh, maybe I should have pursued those looters. Mm, no tournament. No one in the tavern. Oh, wait, no, there is a tournament. Never mind, I was in the wrong menu there.
Spear Wall Banner. That's so cool. Banners are something that did not exist in the previous games. Okay, we got a one-on-one -on -one with a horseman. I got a two-handed sword. It looks like he does as well. Well, at least we're on foot and he's a horseman, so maybe an advantage. Oh, oh, fuck, down on round one. That's awful. That's how it happens sometimes. Oh, I gotta stretch out my back like you wouldn't believe. Oh, my neck is getting sore from sitting too long. It happens. We're just hitting up the next town. Any bandits on the way we could fight? That'd be awful nice. Hey, I see some slow looters. Get em. Oh, sea raiders. Are they gonna team up? I don't think so. Come on. Come on. We're just harmless travelers. Uh, you're not. I'm, I'm killing you. Oh, this local party uh, is teaming up with me. Who are you? Of the Brotherhood. He is Brotherhood of the Woods. He's in a war. Cruel, generous, calculating. Interesting. Well, we can't possibly lose. I mean, if you want to march your troops straight forward, then like, yeah, go for it. But I'm not putting my guys in danger. You're about to say Batanian tournaments are typically the easiest. I typically find them the easiest too. I don't normally go down that quick, but then again, we have, um... Oh, they're getting slaughtered under a hail of arrows. I also typically have a little bit more skill than this, though, and I was using a two-handed weapon with, I think, zero skill. Ah! Went down to the butt shot. We gained riding in one-handed. Here we go. We can get a skill. Basher. Longer stun duration and damage from shield bashes. I don't really remember shield bashes being all that great. Handling with one-handed ha skill and plus 31-handed uh, handling skill to infant. Yeah. Yeah, weapon handling is really, really, really nice. I'm taking wrapped handles. That is going to help a lot. All right, back to getting to town. A lot of looters over here. No tournament. Elin the Swift? Oh, we've met her at a previous town. Yeah, we don't want her. Sell the junk. And the next city, because it's very close. So we're going at five. That's our speed. No tournament. Maybe tomorrow. I'll wait here for the morning. Still no tournament. Damn. What is our two-handed skill? Two. And we probably gained it from that one hit we got in the fight. Okay, so we were doing that fight with zero skill in the weapon they gave us. That's rough. Didn't you get 25 writing skill as well? I think I got like one. No, I'm at 15 total. And my current cap is 20, which is brutal. I will probably up that at some point, even though I want to focus more on, uh, on athletics. Daring and generous. I don't know if generous necessarily means they can't be a good bandit. Maybe.
but he's got good one-handed, he's got good throwing, and he's got really good athletics. He could be a real good bodyguard. Is this a sandbox playthrough or a normal campaign? I literally don't know. Um, I don't know if I want him. Maybe. He does have solid skills. I'll talk to him. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? I'm BP Mandersloot. Uh, you may wish to get yourself a drink. You may have heard of my father. Sinanfenadeg. Uh, Many have called him Sinan the Brave. It's my life's goal to be his worthy son, though he died when I was my when a baby. I can't talk today. My stepfather, though rich in land and cows, does not have the same reputation. Although I resolved early in life that uh, duty to my mother necessitated that I serve him as loyally as I would my natural father. Soon after I came of age, we got wind that our neighborhood would get really loud all of a sudden. And also our neighbors would raid us for cattle. We, didn't, <laughs> we did not know whether the band in the tavern needs to shut up. We did not know by which road they would come. I was sent with a few of our tenants to hold a fort that was far out of the way. At first I was angered because I believed that I was being kept away from the battle and glory, but as it turned out, uh, that's the way the enemy army came. When I saw them at the fort, I challenged their leaders to single combat, as that was our way. They accepted and sent forth a champion. To make the long and short of it, I slew him. And then two more who came after him. The rest graciously admitted that my victories uh, meant they were obligated to retreat. Many of us have such honorable- may all of us have such honorable foes. When I returned to my stepfather's hall, my mother met me outside in tears. She had uh, given me up for dead. My stepfather knew the direction from which the enemy clan would come and had uh, intended for me to die. She did nothing to stop him. But since I had survived, she bid me, uh, she bid me flee. For if not, she feared it was inevitable that our clan should sink into the abyss of kinslang. So here I am looking for a worthy lord for whom to fight for. And that's why you're going to become a bandit with me. Guess you can say I'm between jobs right now, so if by any chance you're looking to hire, well, I'm open to discussion. I could use you. There were some tens of people looking after me here. I made sure I was fed. I would like to give them something before I could go. Could I ask for nearly $500? Yes. We have gotten Gr Gr Grinad Fairhair. It's half our money, but we also got, like, a hero out of it, who hopefully won't care when we become a total bandit lord. But look, we we finally got a guy. That's what matters. We've got a dude on the party here. He's gonna need equipment upgrades as well. But whatever, we have someone. Also, this song that's playing right now, I'm like 99% sure is also in the guild 3 and maybe in the guild 2. <laughs> Fair hair, but the guy is bald. But he has a beard. <laughs> Maybe his chest hair is really fair. You don't know. I've really won another tournament. Okay, we're still going at speed 50. I'm just gonna go back up here. <gasps> I'm gonna fight those looters. Yes, go into the woods. It's so much easier to catch them in the woods. Okay, well, we're helping out Nal of Wolfskin's party. But that's okay. I don't care that that means I'm getting less of the loot. Because what matters is that I'm getting skill points when I go and drive by them. Oh, how beautiful does this game look when you're doing a cavalry charge out in a field? The sound of the hoofs. I almost wish I had a mounted army because it sounds awesome when you're riding with a bunch of like horse archers. How is that not a kill? I forgot enemies have a lot more health in this game. Enemies have like 60 health in Warband. They're just letting me do all this. Who's left? Oh, apparently there was one guy who decided to charge that army. I don't know why they didn't just retreat. <laughs> Ooh, 
four one-handed, two rioting. That's pretty good. 18% of the loot. Which is probably not much. These guys are crazy looking. Nall of the the wolf skins. Can I learn yours? I'm, my name is BP Mandersloot. Relations with the wolf skins up. I think that's like a local clan? Bandits? I'm not sure. Hey, can that text go out of the way of the text box, please? Thank you. Well met, BP Mandersloot. I'm in your debt for what you just did. I hope that one day I can repay it. I mean... I mean, you did all of, well, I guess I did some of the work. Really, you're not in my debt at all, though. <laughs> like, that, that was easy. <laughs> Sell that shit. Sell those boots. If you're aiming for a Bandit King playthrough, companions with negative traits like Cruel are best suited. Yes, of course, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, still no tournament. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Please? Damn it, no tournament. Okay. Fine. Uh, we have a skill point to spend, don't we? Oh, we have uh, we have focus points and a free attribute. Okay. Let me think about this. I do feel like getting riding wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I do feel like getting riding really wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, it, it also would be a good idea to get another point in one-handed, but. As much as I do want to focus more on athletics than I do riding, I want to be mobile in both. So we are going to put a focus point in there that bumps our limit up to 50, which is much higher. We were at 20 before. It also increases our learning rate by a lot, so we'll gain the points faster. Uh, as for a free attribute, we get one every four levels. This makes all three of the skills under its category uh, faster to get. Endurance is nice. I already have great cunning. Vigor is kind of nice. Social is kind of nice. I think I'm going to go with endurance on that one. Bumps up our learning rates more and our limits some more. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that level up was all about mobility. Yeah, it increases your learning rate as well. The closer you get to your limit, the slower you learn skills. So if you have your limit well above uh, where you currently are, then you'll gain skill points very, very quickly. Uh, do you still gain another point when you increase intellect? Okay, no. Um, so level up system works pretty different than it did in Mountain Blade 1. Uh, in Mountain Blade 1, every time you gain a skill point, you have like a whole skill, or an attribute point that you have a whole skill system you spend on, right? This has a whole new system. Instead, it's you have every skill here. This is like every skill that you get just through doing. You know how in like old Mountain Blade, when you, every time you use a weapon, you use, you get skill points in that, right? With this, it's you gain everything through doing. So like leadership here, I can click on this. How to learn, maintain high morale in your party, assemble and lead armies, upgrade your troops. Doing these will get you experience points in leadership. That will get you points in it. Every 25, 50, you know, those kinds of thresholds, you'll be able to pick between one or two different traits. And it's like an either or pick. You don't get to go back and pick the other one. Uh, although you could have heroes on your team who pick the other ones if you want to like try and get everything, you know? You fast now. Well, we're not really fast yet, but this is going to make it so that we have more potential to become fast. So yeah, intellect in this would literally just be like the category of stewardship, medicine, and engineering, and how quickly you learn those. Rather than being a thing where like it ups your cap on certain skills and whatever. Um, I mean, technically it still does, but not in the way that it did in the old games. Okay, down here. I love how quick it is to travel between every Batanian city. It's why I like this part of the map. So much. They're all so close. Tournament! We're doing a tournament. 
Yeah, Old Mountain Blade has a pretty traditional leveling system. Bannerlord is a little bit more Elder Scrolls-ish. I agree. Yeah, it is a little bit like the difference between Fallout level up and Elder Scroll level up. It's not quite the same, of course, but that is a pretty good comparison. Okay, we're blue team. The prize is the Dawnbreaker, a very solid tier four one-handed sword. That would be very, very good. We could use that in the streets to fight bandits and stuff. Like, we want that. Oh fuck, they gave me a bow? No, I'm using the sword. I'm not using the fucking bow. We have no bow skill. I don't care if we have no one hand or two handed sword skill either. It's fucking better than using a bow with no skill. <laughs> fucking drop your, drop your guard. Drop your guard. Drop your fucking guard, dude. Drop your guard. Yes. Okay. I, oh, just charge, dude. Just charge. Mm -hmm. We got this. We got this is a win. We got this. Oh! I do love the way they get sent flying when you get them with a two-handed weapon. We're gaining two-handed weapon skill pretty quick, which is nice. Okay, we're blue team. I've got an axe. Cool. Ha! Huh! Don't block left. Oh, fuck. Oh! No! No! Oh, I'm swinging way too slow. I was getting so reckless with that. Oh, my guy's not winning this. Nope. I got way too reckless. Take the shield. You can't um, use a... Oh, they put me on to the next round anyway. You can't use a shield in a two-handed weapon. And I'm not sure if the axes are two-handed only or if it's one that you're allowed to use one-handed. I'm not sure. I think it's... Bastard swords, you can use one or two handed. Why are you guarding left? Or guarding right? Well, your left, my right. Just drop it. Just. He one shot me! We still haven't won a tournament. Man, this is a harder character we're playing. Those of you who saw the old playthrough. I was winning tournaments left and right, but in fairness, I had better armor. I'm not even wearing a helmet. Ugh. It's good. We're getting skill points, but it's going to be so satisfying when we start winning these tournaments. That's when we're going to start making a name for ourselves and getting famous. Then we can start being a bandit lord. Oh. Yes, I will fight these mountain bandits. They have me slightly outnumbered. It could be pretty difficult. Mount, mountain bandits aren't necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but I think I can win this. Even with our bad stats. Combat AI also changes in patches. Yes, they do seem smarter than they used to be, that's for sure. Okay, we want to hold this bridge, that's for sure. Now, archers should be back. I don't know why they would even be over there. What are you doing, dude? Where did that one go? Oh. I guess I'm on this dude. All right, you guys, you guys handle that fight. I got to chase down this guy. Oh, my horse is just the worst thing in the world. Oh, my horse. Come on. Ugh, I'm on like a stumper horse. You guys are doing okay, right? Yeah, I think. Ah. Come on, dude. Stop circling me. You're way faster. Oh, this is... This is horrible. This is horrible. Stop turning, dude. I cannot turn on this horse. I'm just gonna fucking kill your horse. Well, my archers turned around and got him. 
bad music loop there. Yay! I did all the work! It was all me! Yay! Oh, only two of our guys died. That's not bad at all. Who died? Two looters? Who cares if the looters die? They're a dime a dozen. In fact, we, we just got better prisoners than we lost. Awesome. Ooh. Oh my god. Mail mittens. We just got a tier 3 hand armor. That's a huge upgrade. We look like an idiot when that's the only heavy armor we have, but okay. Slightly better boots. Um... Grapes. Food is good. Yeah, lock the food. Hell yeah. That was a very good victory. We lost two troops that we didn't care about. We made money. We got loot. We got experience. We're gonna sell that loot to make even more money. And we took prisoners that will make better troops. Can't steal the horse? You'd think we could, but it's kind of random if the horse shows up in the loot or not. Now, this dude's name is Blood Axe. He's calculating an honest... Okay, well, honest... I'm pretty sure honest people get upset if you attack, like, peasants. Yeah, just sell all of that. That's good money. And uh, our partner here, we're going to give him a makeshift shield because he's using a one-handed sword right now anyway, and we want him to have some kind of protection against ranged attacks. Since your last playthrough, they actually made the armor uh, you wear in tournaments matter. Yes, in fact, uh, you that's how it was in my last playthrough three years ago as well. You bring your own armor in. Hmm, Batanian volunteers, if I remember right, they become pretty good melee warriors. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good tree. Now, raiders are horseback, right? No, they're infantry. Are Batanians all infantry? Oh no, they do have mounted skirmishers, it's just really deep in their- in their tree. Yeah, because Batanians mostly fight on- on foot. Yeah, I'm actually not going to hire anyone. I'm pretty happy with my little army here. And uh, we're going to be hiring these hillmans and these brigands and the highwaymen. Especially the highwaymen, because he was the tough one. We're going to hire them once we can. Yes, trained archers. Yes, more shielded dudes. Okay, we just upgraded some of our troops who had the experience and were ready. I remember you removing the armor from your guys so they wouldn't uh, be as hard to fight in tournaments. I don't remember doing that, but yeah, that is a thing you can do. What you really want from the Batanians are the rare units. Best foot archers in the game. That's interesting. I seem to remember the best foot archers in the game in Warband were... Vagar, right? The, the Russian dudes? I think they had the best foot archers. I actually have been doing a playthrough just like in my own time of Warband lately where I've been using mostly their troops and I never really used them much before, but I like them. Their knights are awesome. Oh shit, I'm faster than those forest bandits. Oh no, no I'm not. Never mind. Why are we moving so slow? Oh, because we have so many prisoners. Hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon as well. Okay, let's go get those looters. Just real quick skill check. No, we're good. Cool. Stop running! Oh, he's faster. Bastard. Fine. Oh, now they chase me because they had a backup party. All right. I mean, I probably could beat them even with overwhelming numbers, just because our troops are trained now. Hard to say. Best archers in Warband. 
Unit-wise, uh, Batanians are basically the same archetype. Really? I didn't know. Okay. Because the Vagars do have good horse troops. It's just their horse troops don't use their shields enough. You can tell them to, though, in Warband. There isn't, like, a command just for shield. I think it's if you tell them to use blunt weapon and then you tell them to move back to their regular weapons, then they'll take their shield out for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to wait until morning to see if a tournament starts. Nope. Chase him. Chase him south. If I can't catch him, that's okay. We just stop off at the city. Yes, go in the forests. I catch up with them in the forests. <gasps> oh, oh. Back off, stranger. he shouldn't have ducked into the forests. I get why he's doing it. They think that's how they're going to lose me, but they don't know that I got a racial bonus for that shit. Infantry. I'm moving the infantry up just a little bit so that the archers have an easier time clearing their heads to land hits. Think I could land a hit from here? I'm not very good at aiming these throwing axes, I gotta say. I'm much better with javelins. It's just the arc on these things is kind of crazy. Oh, that was a headshot, and he didn't die. Get. Mm, get. There we go. Can't block all the directions. Get off me with these farming implements. Back me up, dudes. Thank you. Ah, I hit his corpse. <laughs> Didn't get the experience for it. Are questions about challenge runs allowed? Uh, I mean, I guess you could, but when the chat just devolves into a bunch of people asking about challenge runs, it usually sucks. I don't know, dude. If you want to know about challenge runs, you can always just tweet me. Yes! Is there a playstyle you'd recommend for a beginner at this game? Um, yeah, I'd say, like, the easiest way to go in any Mountain Blade game is probably... It's probably focusing a lot on horseback riding, on one-handed weapons, uh, using shield. Sword and shield is really easy to learn and really reliable in pretty much any combat situation. Um, doing something like having a sword, a shield, and then a long spear that's for like cavalry charges. Uh, heavy armor, uh, well-armored horse, probably a charger, some kind of like mobile but very tanky horse that you can just plow through groups with. Uh, Retro says horse archery. Yeah, if you want to get into horse archery and you want to have a whole crew of horse archers and you just strafe people, that is incredibly fun. <laughs> get another archer. Now, it's weird that the archer can be upgraded into a crossbowman, considering a cr crossbow skill and archery skill are completely different. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, veteran archer. Imperial Legionaries. Those are like proper troops. Yeah, that's that's a tier five. We now have some tier five troops already. You know, this highwayman is not super far off of uh, being willing to get hired. Oh, wait. I, yeah, take that looter with us. And all of the loot. Lance Archer. Yeah, Lance Archer. He's pretty tough. He's big. Old Tramp Stamp Hoyt. Oh, there's a tourney in town. Let's sell some loot and then get in there. Oh, I remember old Lance Hoyt from, from TNA. Winds Fury. What is that? Uh, just wanted to double check because there's almost a, almost a separation of work and casual gaming. Well, this isn't casual gaming. This is work. If it was casual gaming, I wouldn't be on the show. Also, this whole thing is going on YouTube. Also, I'm like literally, I'm literally at work. <laughs> this is my job. Okay. Uh, one-handed weapon tier four. That's good. Weapon length. It's really long. 
Swing speed's pretty good. Handling is good. That's a good weapon. Can I check my gear here on the screen? I cannot. Okay. I'm red team. Sword and shield, thank you. Oh, hey, it's like blue, but it's an easier to see blue. There we go. I'm just gonna go right after this guy. There we go! We got a lot of skill points in that fight. <laughs> Stop talking, get back to chat, no distractions. Hey, hey, chat's my job. <laughs> I hate thrusting, especially by accident. Which is a very funny statement, but if you've ever played any Mountain Blade game, you know what someone means when they say thrusting by accident, and it does ruin you in a fight. So you wouldn't consider this more casual work? No. No, I would not. For sure not, actually. Oh, I can't believe I got her with that. I really thought she was just gonna punk me out in one hit. Oh, that was gorgeous. <laughs> Do you have a shield? No. Well, oh no, it's a cape, okay. Stop dropping your guard, dude. Why did you keep dropping your guard right while I was swinging? Semi-finals, this might be it. Yeah, we're getting to 43 athletics. We're finally getting to the point where our one-handed skill and our athletic skill are getting like passable. Do not give me a bow, game! <laughs> there we go. Cool. We got this. We're going to the finals. Okay, we've got an axe, they've got an axe. Okay, it's not our best weapon type, a two-hander, but we'll do what we can. Yeah, guard high. Fuck. Oh! Yes! No! No! Oh! If I aimed a little more to the left, I would have caught him on that swing. Damn it. It was a good sword, too. Shit. We gain skill points, it's worth it. I don't remember, uh, did you ever finish the merchant playthrough you did of this game? No, because uh, that was early access and the game updated and the save file broke and is completely corrupted now. Plus, how do you finish a save file of Mountain Blade, you know? It's kind of impossible. <laughs> do I just put another point in writing? It's either one-handed riding or athletics at this point, because we, we really do desperately need the combat stuff. Hmm. One-handed. It's too important. There we go. Isn't athletics reaching max? Mm, no. Uh, max on athletics is 90 right now, so we got a, quite a bit of headroom. No, for real, is this song also in the Guild 3, or am I just going nuts? Or is it the Guild 2? I don't know. Probably the Guild 2. I played more of that. Mm, it's evening, right? Yeah, let's just sleep for the night and see if there's a tourney in the morning. Oof, nasty weather. No tournament. Next town. We're doing the tourney loop right now. It's a great way to get early gear. We do the tourney loop. We fight any bandits we see on the way that we know we can catch. We cannot catch this one right now. Cannot recruit, cannot recruit, cannot recruit. You guys all suck and I hate you. Ugh.
You don't hear Guild 3, but you never played Guild 2, so it might be that. Yeah, maybe. It's probably Guild 2. I played Guild 2 more recently. I've heard Guild 3 is playable now, but I've also heard it never really got the charm that, this, that Guild 2 had. And that's a shame, because Guild 2 is a very charming game. Although it's very rough around the edges. Oh, the looter in the woods, though. Might be easy to catch. I'll see if he's still there in the morning. Skill point in writing, medicine. No tournament. The other town's really close. Looters over there, looters over there. Nothing. Hey, some of them will finally join us. Okay, that'll speed up the party a little bit. Ugh, it's not enough to speed us up yet. Need more people. Especially stacking matches against gut rag. <laughs> what? You should have one of your seconds be renamed gut rag too. Oh yeah, didn't I have a guy on my file last time called gut rag? What a crazy ass name. I didn't remember that. That was like three and a half years ago. <laughs> that was a long time. Man, where are some bandits we can actually catch? Maybe we got to start getting more um, mounted troops just for the sake of being a little quicker on the map. Hey, more people want to get hired. That sped us up just a little bit, hiring those last two dudes. Oh, no, that's Blood Axe. He doesn't want to join. He has two goody two-shoes. Um, let's stock up just a little on... Oh, grain's really, really, really cheap here. Easily, yes. Why don't you check the arena menu for nearby tournaments? Oh, is there, um... Is there a... Does the guy tell me where nearby tournaments are? If I talk to him? Are there any tournaments going on nearby? There we go. One should be starting up in Ox Hall. Isn't that far? Oh, that's not that far. I can go there. Out of my way, forest bandits. I'm the only forest bandit allowed here. Come on. You can do it. The tournament better still be on when you get there. <laughs> Did you know there's a gold helmet icon next to a city for close enough to indicate a tournament going on? I did not know that. I did not know that. That is a good pro tip. Thank you. Is that new? I say new. I haven't played in three years. Ridged tip arming sword. Great handling on that sword. Swing damage isn't amazing, but surely it's an upgrade from what I'm using. Oh, okay. Not really my ideal weapon type, but okay. Uh, there's a side sword. I can use that. Just not going to block anything? We're just playing Rochambeau? All right. Well, didn't work out for them. Okay, this is a four-person free-for-all on this one. I got a shield, so I can just kind of back off. And, oh, we all have a shield, okay. Fight me. There we go. Doesn't seem like the shield bash works all that often. Did the other guy die yet? Yes, okay. Let me put my back to this wall, you asshat. I want this other guy to hit you in the back. Yes, yes, just swing. Swing, dude. Thank you. 
There we go. That guy's armor sucks. Got some one-handed for that and athletics. Semi-finals. We got a one-on-one. -on -one. We got two one-on-ones for the rest of the tournament. We might win. Oh, this is not my weapon of choice. Okay. And we both are using it. Okay. Uh, we don't have any... We don't have much skill in this weapon, but I am okay, like, just gameplay-wise. I know how to use a polearm like this! It made the noise for that block. Why did I get hit? Man! Ugh. Lame. I traveled for this tournament. Lame. Okay. Well... What was that noise even for? Thank you for raiding, I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you enjoy the stream. We are losing in tournaments for two hours on end. It's what we do. Okay, how close do I need to be to a place to know if there's a tournament? Is it like really close? Uh, enter arena. Yeah, phantom block, right? It made the block noise, but I still got hit. Uh, I want to know if there's any tournaments. Get to either one if you move quick. All right. Oops. Die! <laughs> Came off of playing Emerald Kaizo, so losing is all I do. Yeah, sounds miserable. <laughs> That's why I don't play Kaizo, because it's not fun, but some people find it fun. So I hope that they enjoy it. I will be over here not doing that shit. Okay, so I couldn't see that there was a tournament during the approach there. Arena's closed at night. Please tell me the tourney's still on in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> Three lords of skill in this tournament. This might be a hard one. Bone Crusher. It's a mace. It's strong. It's not crazy strong. They gave me a crossbow. I'm not using that. I'm using my sword. <laughs> I can't believe I got that hit. Oh, God. The horse coming on through. How many shots to the back of the head do I need to give this guy? Tournament eight. I like that you keep him count. That guy did not see it coming. I did not see that 176 damage spear attack coming either, but my team won, so I advance. Thanks, fair hair. One on one with. Oh, it's a one on one with fair hair. We got a duel with our partner. I don't want to really fight you on horseback, but... Yeah, just hit a bunch of low velocity swings. Yeah, I'll go after your horse if I need to. Don't think I'm above that. Yeah, your horse doesn't sound so healthy now, does he? There we go. All right, just back him into a wall. I want to get him... I just want to get close enough that he can't use the spear. Because I know I can win a sword fight with these guys. Fuck. I say as I start losing a sword fight with this guy. Well, he is a sergeant. I guess that is a pretty strong unit. And his helmet is really keeping him from taking any damage here. Why did he draw the spear there? I, dude, stop turning. <laughs> there. Oof, I'm one hit away from going down and my shield can't handle much more. This is a really close fight. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna charge right in. Why will your horse not die? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Fight me. Yeah, fight me now. You know what? You know what? Get a little distance. Okay, now we win the fight with our superior sword skill. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my shield broke. Oh. Did you see that block? Oh my god, I thought I was done there. The sparks flew off my sword at that last millisecond block. Oh shit. Love your stream would be huge if you streamed more often. I, I am going to, and I used to stream way more way back in the day. You speak so pedagogical. I do not even know what you mean by that. I enjoy it a lot. I'm happy that you enjoy it a lot. May I recommend buying a slightly better body armor when you can? I probably should. I'm so used to just getting my good armor from the tournaments. You know? Okay. I think this is a really tough troop that we're against, isn't it? Oh no, no, it's not a crazy high level. In fact, it's normally a mounted troop, so he might not be so good on foot. He's a tier three. Okay. It's cool that you can see the different sets. Okay, this might not be too hard. This might be our first uh, tournament win. Let's bet on this? Nah, let's not. Fight me. Fight me. He's, uh... He's not bad at the fake out, so I'll give him that. Like, I thought he was dropping a shield there. No, he was repositioning his sword. Sometimes it's worth getting redundant hits in when they have a shield, just because you know you can. Because it'll wear down their shield faster than you lose yours. That's kind of what I'm doing here, and I'm surprised he hasn't lost the shield yet. There we go. That's a win. That's our first tournament win for this character. Hell yeah. Bone Crusher, it's not, it, it's a solid weapon. It's not one that we're probably personally gonna use that much, but maybe it'll sell for a lot. It's worth 1,500 gold. I could sell this and then end up buying better stuff. Could sell it, use it to purchase better armor. Not that this place is selling very good armor, to be honest. And these prices kind of suck. Does the Bone Crusher count as a civilian weapon? It does not. Damn, because it would actually be a really solid weapon in a street fight. It's got really low length, so you could get in close and you don't need to worry about it like catching on, on things near you, you know? A problem you get when you use a really long sword in foot combat sometimes like in the city, you'll start fighting close to like a wall or, or like an obstacle, and when you go to swing and your sword gets caught on the wall before it catches the enemy. Uh, with a nice short weapon like a mace, that isn't such a problem when you're in tight quarters. So yeah, like I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at this bone crusher stats wise and it's like its swing damage is lower than my sword. The length isn't as good, the handling is better, but swing speed's really good. Swing speed is really good. And don't get me wrong, swing speed's a pretty important stat. Tempting. Can I just purchase, like, a tier 3? I mean, the length on the short sword is pretty bad. It's expensive, too. Good lord. 
Since version 1.5 or 1.6, armors as a reward for tournaments are more rare. As lords start to join the tournaments, uh, the weapons, horses, arm, uh, helmets are more commonly the reward compared to body armor. Good to know, thank you. Can you dedicate your win to a lady to gain her attention? I don't know. I don't know if you can do that in this. I believe you could in Warband. Tail, tall tipped long spear. Tall tipped long spear. Oh, you can shield brace with that or spear brace with that. That's cool. Now, okay. Now, spear brace is when you are on foot, like um, preventing a cavalry charge, if I remember right. I've never used that in this game. And then crouch lance, which you can see here on this light lance, that's like um, a spear charge, you know? And I do want that. I like that more than this short, simple spear. So I am actually going to sell the bone crusher because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I'm going to purchase one light lance because that is a pretty solid weapon for a charge. Not that we at all have a good horse for charging, but you know. And... Really, all of these armors are really, really shitty. A padded coif, though, is a huge upgrade for a head armor. Oh, but this one's so much cheaper and it's not that much weaker. Ah. Oh, hard decisions. I'm going to take the cheaper one. Because money is just a little bit tight, you know? Cool. The Highwaymen will finally join us. So what is, like, his troop tree? Highwaymen, Champion, Banner Knight. Cool. I didn't think a, ha a Highwayman would eventually become such a strong troop. I mean, he's wearing a great helm and everything. A Banner Knight is, a, is crazy strong. Okay. Uh, as part of missions uh, given by ladies to win in their name. Okay, I understand. Now, that sped us up a lot there. You can see our speed is almost back up to five. We can sell the old raiding spear. We're never going to use that. Oh, man! Oh, whoops. Save as. No, I just want to save. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I can unmark that thing. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now, as much as I would love to stream for the entire rest of time, uh, I do have Pokemon Challenge stuff to do today, which I have not even started yet. Um, I mean, I've started the run, not today's work on the run. Oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the playlist. There's a chance that the next stream of this is already up. If you're watching this live, the next stream of this is probably going to be later this week sometime. I don't know. You need decently high leadership skill to upgrade bandit troops into proper units. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> dedicate attorney to a horse to impress it. I should. Maybe my horse would be faster if I did that. Stay in the chat. I will figure out someone to raid in a minute. For those of you on YouTube, though, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll, I'll have more, more of this up before you know it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And until next time, have a nice day.